If you ever want to summarize any documents with AI, this is going to be the use case for you. And what I want to do is I want to give three different ways of summarizing documents from least complex to most complex. The first one is a very simple and easy one click summarize. So you just upload the document to it and it summarizes it. The second version now getting a little bit more complex is summarizing with a particular goal in mind. And what we'll do is we'll be creating a prompt template to help us do this. And part three and the most complex, but arguably I'd say the most useful is summarizing multiple documents. So let's first get a document. Okay, so let's type in the history of Smash Bros. Cool. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to Wikipedia. So there's actually two ways we can actually summarize this within the, the quick and easy one. So because I've got the extension open, I can just click chat with page here and I can just ask you a question. I could say, summarize this document. And that'd be pretty easy. The second part to this is if we actually want like a tiny bit more control on the one click summarize, we'll save this. And let's say this probably works better as well if you're not browsing on the internet, more so you've got a file that you want to summarize. Let's say someone sent you this Smash Bros document. Um, it probably makes sense that instead of using the extension, you just go to textcortex.com and you use the paraphraser tool. What we're gonna do is we are gonna go to rewriting tools and it's a paraphraser. And then as you can see with it, we can literally just grab that document we just downloaded and we can summarize it. Oh, okay. Well, the problem with this is it's a tiny bit too long. So we'd have to delete a little bit of the characters, but yeah. So yeah, so as you can see, probably knowledge bases would work better if you want quick and easy summarization with really, really long documents. But as you can see here, this works fine. And arguably, if you're really new to AI as well, this is gonna be a, lo a lot easier to use. The next way we're gonna go over is how to summarize text for a particular goal. And what we're actually gonna do is we're gonna create a prompt template. So we're gonna go to, we're gonna go to templates, we're gonna create a new template. That'd be I'm going to call it summarizer. So what I've said is you are to summarize this text. I'm going to add the text here. So how this prompt works is basically the first part I'm saying your goal is to summarize this text. That's where you put the text. The second part is for the goal of, that's where you put your goal. And the last part is your format should be how you want it to be formatted. And just to explain that a little bit more. So I think text is self-explanatory. That's where you copy and paste your text in uh, for the goal. Let's say, for example, we take that Smash Bros example for the goal of finding key dates for a YouTube video. And then the format could be in a bullet list format. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to copy and paste this and again we can just test this out so copy and paste the text here the goal uh, summarize So just to explain again, text, um, an extract from uh, Smash Bros. The goal was to condense the information for a YouTube video and the format was bullet list. So as you can see, works perfectly. And yeah, I, I feel like the last part of this, which I wanted to promise is now we know how to summarize pages for a particular goal. All we want to do is we want to have different sources of information and kind of summarize them together. So for example, we could have this um, Smash Bros Wiki. Uh, that's an interesting source, but also we want to use the Den of Geeks information as well. And we, we, we kind of want different sources to be condensed. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to use the, uh, the extension and just as a reminder if you haven't got the extension it's really easy just go here the website and click add the browser super simple to, to set up like two clicks um what i to do is i'm going to go to, to the sidebar i'm going to add this page to, to knowledge base as well uh, i'm going to create a knowledge base smash bros so now that's in our knowledge base go to knowledge bases here smash bros and i'm just going to upload them here so we'll just go file i'm just going to upload that same one from before Cool. So now we have two files within the knowledge base. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start the chat with it. And what we can do is we can mix the second method we did with this first one. 
where we just click on that icon in the bottom left to get up our templates and we type in summarizer so let me use this template so in the text here i'll put you search smash bros knowledge base goal i'll put the goal to summarize information about an essay on character design and the format let's go under 400 words and as a blog post press enter and that should work fine so as you can see here it's searching about the character's design it's giving us reference of about which documents it's taking it from and that should be everything you need for summarizing documents if you've got any more questions about this or if you've got any more particular case studies feel free to put them in the comments and i'll see you in the next one